Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. This is the Busy Vegan Mom YouTube channel where I share about how to heal with plants, how to come into your best physical body through vegan weight loss, as well as uh, veganism for children. So if any of that interests you, please hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get weekly video updates from me. So today's video will be centered around healing with plant foods. Today I'm going to give you my top five, my personal list, my top five list of the most healthiest plant foods as I know them. So there's tons of research out there, tons of different uh, opinions and, and studies and, and on all, all sorts of different foods, but the top five for me that I've seen make a significant difference in my life, the five plant foods that have helped to bring healing to body, body, mind, and spirit that I will reach for and use in times of need or that I will take for preventative measures to prevent against dis-ease. Um, here we go. Number one on my list is raw leafy greens. So for years, I have tried my best to incorporate greens into my diet, um, it, especially after I started following the plant-based doctors such as Dr. Michael Greger and Dr. Joel Furman. They were really, really big on uh, promoting eating raw greens every day. Dr. Joel Furman talks about eating a big salad, the salad being the main dish of the day. Um, Dr. Greger in his Daily Dozen talks about uh, getting the, the green intake every day. And so, especially when I was pregnant, I saw to it that I ate raw greens every single day because not only, I mean, is, has there been tons of research and, and so much data to support why we should be eating raw greens, but also for the, the way that they make me feel. I noticed that when I eat raw greens, whether that be before I was, then I was big on smoothies and juices, but if we're eating raw greens, we're getting that fiber, which is the best way to get it. Um, I would have increased energy. I just remember like they promote a feeling like they promote a healthy glow, excellent for gut health, so good for for gut health, um, amongst other things. So raw greens, I'm telling you, and, and, and even some of that I'm sure being like placebo effect, although the research and the evidence is there, but like my belief in the power of greens is like up here. So that coupled with all that they really do, I'm sure made them all that much more powerful. But raw greens for sure. Not only, of course, raw greens are great for, for weight loss because you can eat tons of veggies, non-starchy veggies, and um, you know try to fill up on those best you can. And they're only uh, you know 100 calories per pound. So raw greens are good on so many levels. Gut health, they help prevent against disease and cancer. Um, and the doctors would recommend you know pick um, if you're gonna eat if you if you are eating fat in your diet to maybe put some fat in your dressing, whether it be a nut based. Uh, dressing or just something that if it has a higher fat, but not oils, not to be confused with these highly processed oils. We want to stay away from that. Oils have no nutritional value. They do not serve you in the least bit like you have been taught that they do. Um, it's just processed, highly processed fat. And so raw greens, healthy healing. I know I can reach for those if I need a little boost. I've been, since I've been doing starch solution, I eat a lot of steamed greens. Um, but I know on the days I eat my salads, I I feel amazing. I feel amazing. And so it makes me want, I, I want to go get me a salad. <laughs> Number two on my personal list for the healthiest plant foods among the planet would be, and these are in no particular order, by the way, would be turmeric. I am the biggest turmeric advocate there is, okay? I consume it every day, no matter what, whether it be in a tea, um, in a dish, more so I'm gonna drink it or I take it in capsule form or I make it in one of my uh, nighttime lattes or even a morning drink. Turmeric has been used in India for years. It's, it's considered medicinal. It's very medicinal in my eyes. It has done so much for my body turmeric fights against inflammation it's the actually the compound called curcumin that's within the turmeric that does all the magic and the way that we absorb that powerful compound in the um, turmeric 
the curcumin is what it's called, is by coupling our turmeric, no matter what, we wanna mix it with a little bit of black pepper. And just, just a little bit, whether you're eating it or in a drink, just know that you are not getting the full benefits at all unless you are getting that that black pepper. So if you are taking a supplement or something, make sure it is coupled with black pepper. I do have one that I take daily. On the days that I don't get to eat my turmeric um, or drink my turmeric, I'm taking it in a capsule. And so the one I use is by Motivate. I have a 20% off discount code. I'll leave you guys. That's the only supplement company that I use um, outside of my vitamin B and my D3 um, that I take. Um, but yes, they are wonderful. And it does have black pepper with it. And it's just a veggie capsule, so it's completely vegan. But I'm telling you what, turmeric, I put it, I put turmeric in the baby's uh, smoothies. I've put it in her noodles before, like, um, the times that she, like, had a stomach bug or something before, I would put a little bit in her noodles, you know, because we're doing, like, if you do the brat diet, which is when, when, a, when a kid has a stomach bug, it's, um, bananas, toast, rice, um, and what's the other one? Bananas, toast, oh, applesauce. And so I had some rice-based noodles that I gave her and I mixed it in with some turmeric and some coconut aminos because that turmeric, it helps fight, it combats pain and inflammation. If I've had a day where I feel like sore because of whatever from the day before, pop two turmeric uh you know it's it's it is medicine i do not take tylenol i do not give my child tylenol there has been some rare cases in the past that i have for her but no turmeric is my is my pain reducer if i if i have pain um i like to take it every day because of the fact that it helps to prevent against disease prevent against cancer it helps to promote glowing skin glowing skin you they you've seen people use the turmeric face mask you can put it on stuff on your skin but i like to take it and then i get those results from the inside out so turmeric i'm telling you what try to find a way to get it whether you're taking i like to take those little juice shots too you've i'm sure seen before if you followed me that in my what i eat in a day videos i'll get those little turmeric shots if you've got some sinus stuff going on or you feel a little bit of congestion or even a little seasonal cough go get you some turmeric shots make sure it's got the black pepper if it doesn't you can add your own black pepper simple fix and you will knock that out i have had people at work that had some stuff going on and went home whipped some up or i bought them some at the store they called it my kitchen witchery because it really is like you got something going on i've got something for that i can whip something up for that like let's fix this let's get to the root of the problem let's knock this out with something holistic um and so i'm a firm believer in those uh turmeric shots so turmeric get that in your life i'll link that um supplement that i use below number three on my list kind of goes with the last one ginger so i'll take turmeric and ginger together on so many occasions like the turmeric shots i was telling you about all um a lot of times that will be coupled coupled with ginger and uh the supplement that i take also has ginger and turmeric in it so it's two for one it's two for one and i love having the two of those together so ginger i'm sure you've heard how it helps with nausea right like it's been recommended to like pregnant women in the past but yeah if you have nausea going on um a little bit of ginger ginger shots some ginger tea uh but what i love is its ability to fight infection to fight and prevent infection like if i've got i'm trying to think of like a, a recent any type of infection it just i know because i've i've used it like and if the baby has something going on we're gonna put some ginger in a smoothie like ginger is so powerful so not only does it help with the nausea but it helps it also can help to combat the cancer and the pain and stuff like this it can alleviate the pms symptoms which goes hand in hand with the cramps and the nausea it also improves immunity so I'm telling you what, like, it, I'm all about the herbs. Like, you've, like, what are you, is in your life, are you incorporating herbs in any way? And if you're not, please do, because you are helping to, again, prevent against disease, against inflammation, against cancer, against seasonal sickness, or at least alleviating symptoms of turmeric and ginger might as well just put them together pair them together and and not just have to use them when the time comes when something goes down and you get sick like yeah I use them then too but you can use them to help build up that immunity and prevent those things and so oh my gosh I'm so sorry my phone overheated it got too hot uh we in Texas over here so that's 
that happens. Um, so, so we're just going to go straight from ginger to the next one. That's my sign. It's time to move on. So the next uh, plant food, whoo, that's bright. The next plant food on my list that has been helpful to me that I find to be one of the most powerful and healing plant foods on the planet would be mushrooms. So mushrooms, I have uh, been taking mushrooms and adding them into my lives for the last several years. This is another food that Dr. Joel Furman as well as Dr. Michael Greger recommend for you to eat daily. My favorite thing about the mushrooms is how like literally you can eat like, what is it like? A, a, it's like the top part of your pinky. Um, there was a study done. There was a top part of the pinky size worth of mushrooms. Um, done, like where you could eat that that size. I like one a week. I think it was. And I may be off on that. Um, was it one a week or one a day? One a day maybe. And it helped like to reduce breast cancer in women in Asia or something like 60%. Or was it colon cancer in men? It was something like that. But it was huge. It was remarkable. And so, like, to me, that's amazing. And the cool thing is, is you, we can consume mushrooms. So many people don't, there's people that don't like the texture. They can't do it. And that's okay. There is no excuse now because we can consume mushrooms in a bazillion ways. I have an awesome video that I will link um, that will share with you the different ways that you can eat mushrooms. There's so many ways you can drink them. You can, you can, you can consume mushrooms without tasting them at all. I do take a supplement and I will show that uh, to you guys. I've shared it before, but so not only for, excuse me, health benefits. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Not only for health benefits, obviously, um, and, and for, you know, anti-cancer and, you know, immunity boosting, but also mushrooms, specific types of mushrooms uh, specifically can help with brain health, help improve memory, brain function, all of these things. And like, who thinks about that? Like, oh, I need to take care of my brain. Well, I'll tell you who does. Those of us who maybe have attention deficit or have struggled with brain fog, um, maybe memory issues or, or, or whatever, you know, um, mushrooms can help. I'll show you my supplement. It is also by uh, Motive 8, that awesome company, and I take those every day. And I do, I was going to do a whole video on how mushrooms, like, I had like this whole video recorded. I don't know why I ended up deleting it. Um, but it was, I was going to share the fact that I took mushrooms every day for 30 days and I noticed a difference. I had like this mushroom powder. I was putting it in my oatmeal. But now I just take a supplement because it's so much easier because there's days that you you know, you, you won't eat what you normally eat that requires you to put the the supplement in it. And so I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to start taking the supplement. And I do notice a difference in my cognitive function. Sharper, sharper mind. Um, it, you can definitely notice a difference. And um, mushrooms are powerful. There's so many of them out there. And again, if you don't like how they taste, if you don't like the texture, then take them in the supplement form or watch my video and it'll tell you all the cool ways you can take them or eat them. So the fifth food item, plant-based food item on my list would be berries. So berries are so powerful. This is also another food that's listed um, with, on some of the plant-based doctors daily recommendations. Berries are like the highest in antioxidant count, blueberries in particular, I believe, but the blueberries and blackberries, okay, so they've got this beautiful pigment, that deep uh, blue and purple. When the colors look like that, it means that they are rich in anthocyanins, which are these powerful compounds found inside the food, giving it that beautiful pigment, that beautiful color, but they are powerful at preventing dis-ease, illness, raising antioxidant levels. Like antioxidants can help to combat the stress, just good for the skin. So amazing. And again, what am I bringing this point? The point that I'm driving home is these berries eating a handful of berries a day. I swear by it because it's medicine. It's your medicine. It's prevention. It's disease prevention 101. Blueberries are cancer fighting and preventing and they're, they're a preventative. So powerful. So, so powerful, right? And so 
blueberries just eaten raw are the best way obviously to eat them you can put them in all sorts of things but fruit raw is is, is is the way to go now the way that I apply these in my life and what's helpful is in the past I'd been prone to like UTIs or whatever and so I had done research years and years ago on the power of blueberries and like today every now and then if I start to feel something like that coming on what I'll do is I'll add um, an intake in, in ginger and turmeric, right? And an, an up and an, an increase, um, as well as I'll go get a big thing of blueberries. And I'm telling you those blueberries will knock out any symptoms for anything like that. As far as like that you've got going on for women's health. Um, blueberries are medicinal. I'm telling you. So those are my list of the five foods that I feel and that I use in my own personal life are just the healthiest foods among the healthiest foods on the planet. The ones I have personal experience with share your foods with me, the ones that you love and that are the healthiest that you've seen from your experience. I'd love to hear about it. If you guys have not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you guys next time.